What's going on guys? My name is Absolutely Blake and welcome to my channel. On Sunday, I asked you guys to send me in questions for me to answer in another Q&A. Before I start, I just want to say that if I didn't answer your question in this video, it doesn't mean I'm not going to answer it at all. So just leave it in a comment below and I'll be sure to respond to you. There's just no way I could have fit 400 questions in this video. Second of all, somebody was really mean to me and said a hurtful comment. They said, how does it feel to have so many subscribers and no talent at all? Fuck you, buddy. And lastly, that is not a hickey. This is it there, and I was just picking it before the video, and I don't wear makeup, so I can't fix it. Here we go. Are you against circumcision? If you had a son, would you leave him tact or intact? I would leave him intact as I am uncut myself, and I'm not against it. Please pronounce the words bean and eaten. Would you ever do clone a willy again and sell it to one of your fans? I actually did clone a willy twice and I sold it to two of my fans. I assume by the comments below you have a big gay following. You seem to be accepting and comfortable around gays. Was this something you always felt growing up or is this just a Canadian thing? I personally think that nobody should be judgmental towards another person. Everyone is entitled to liking who they want to like or thinking what they want to think. Personally, I think it's stupid when other people put down gay people, I guess, because A, you sound like a douchebag and B, that like that you guys are 80% of my viewers so I mean if I didn't have you I wouldn't really be anywhere so fuck all the people that are rude to gays because I think everybody should just be their own person and everyone should love everybody also I feel really bad saying the word gay so if that's not the right term I apologize and if somebody could correct me in the comments that'd be awesome where do you see yourself in 10 years hopefully famous and on a big billboard but in all seriousness hopefully owning my own house and having a family why did you delete the video where you talk about what Marshall did to you first of all it's not what Marshall did to me it was just about what really happened between us he never did anything specifically we just kind of don't like each other anymore that's why he's not in my videos why I deleted the video talking about it is because it was really petty of me to post and I apologize to Marshall for posting that video have you ever considered a second channel for gaming possibly Fortnite? yes I've considered it actually because you gave me the idea you always seem happy what makes you mad angry triggered being lied to do you have low hanging balls it really depends on the temperature if it's really warm if I come out of a hot steamy shower Hour, yes, I do they're low But if it's like freezing out and like the air in the bathrooms cold after I get out of the shower they Right back to the top. What's your favorite Maggie of you and Meg? Wow, that was weird. What is your favorite memory of you and Maggie? I gotta say, when I first read that out loud, the first memory that comes to mind is we were in Thailand and we rented scooters and Maggie had like this big helmet on and she was just riding her scooter at the speed limit and it was super cute. I recently had my heart broken by a guy who convinced me to give him a chance. In short, what's the best way to ease the pain of a heartbreak? He pretty much had to beg you to give him a chance, so you're worth way more than he is, if you think about it that way. You didn't go begging him for the chance, so I say fuck that guy and carry on. Find somebody else who's better, somebody that truly loves you for who you are. Have you ever kissed a guy? You must have missed that video. What non-sexual acts turn you on the most? I like when Maggie cooks. Oh, when Maggie plays video games, that's really hot. And doing well. She fucked shit up in Fortnite the other night. Would you really leak your own nudes and for how much? I wouldn't charge a dime if I leaked them. And I probably would really leak my own nudes because back in the day when BBM was a thing, I remember I sent my nude out to somebody to see if it would spread and it spread everywhere. And people were even using it as their profile picture for BBM. And everyone's like, Blake, did you know that your nudes leaked? Did you know that this is being sent around? And I was just like, <laughs> I sent it. I started that shit. If you could trade lives with one person for an entire day, who would it be and why? I would trade lives with Maggie. Not because I want to know what it's like to go to work as a girl or anything like that, but because I want to know what it's like to have a vagina. It looks really fun. And to be honest, sounds like it's way more pleasurable. How are you so comfortable with your body by sharing it to the world? How did you get to this point? I gotta give a lot of that credit to Lloyd. I moved in with that kid and it just turned into a who can fuck with the other person more. And I gotta say, that's probably why I got so comfortable. Cause it got to a point where we were literally answering the door ass naked to fuck with each other or running in on each other having sex. Yeah, that happened. What's the best thing that's happened to you since you've become a YouTuber? You guys are the best thing that's happened to me on YouTube because without you, none of this would be possible. If you could just drop what you're doing and travel anywhere with Maggie, where would it be? The Maldives. I wanna go swimming with some manta rays. Will you ever go on a mini tour or meet and greet? Yes, 100%. If anybody's from Vancouver watching this and you wanna meet me, literally comment that. I will come to Metro Town, Pacific Center, somewhere public. I do not wanna be kidnapped and raped. Yeah, it'd be super sweet. Are you getting married soon? Nope, I'm way too poor for that. How do you describe Maggie with three words or less? 
blonde, beautiful, and funny. If I pay you well, will you send me your undershorts that you've worn and not laundered? How much are we talking? Where is the strangest, weirdest place you've ever masturbated? I was stuck in traffic once on the 401, and if anybody's from Ontario, you know how bad the 401 gets. I had limo tint, and I masturbated while I was stuck in traffic. What was the best fan sub interaction that you had? In Australia, Maggie was actually recognized by this girl, I think her name was Teresa, and she's like, hey, are you Maggie? And she goes, yeah. And she's like, I'm pretty sure I saw you on YouTube with Blake. And then Maggie's like, no way, Blake's here in the club. And she brings this girl over to meet me and her whole, like, she was trying to like text cause I was like, here, take my number down. You can come to my birthday next week. And she was like shaking. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Somebody loved my video so much that I can make them feel like that when I met them in person. Do Maggie and you have a celebrity cheat list? We don't actually have one, but I'm 100% sure. Nope, 110% sure she'd cheat on me for Miles Teller. Biggest fear in life? This is a good question. My biggest fear is dying without being able to say goodbye. It's kind of hard to phrase, but like I wouldn't want to just die randomly like get hit by a car tomorrow and die without being able to like get some good last words in with my friends and family. So that's kind of scary, is not knowing that I could literally walk to work tomorrow and never see anyone again. Have you ever done anything sexual in public? If so, what? I had sex on a Ferris wheel in Niagara Falls. Kind of. Three strokes and it counts. That's all I did but I was too scared we were gonna get caught. So it appears you have a large following of gay men who make some very sexual comments about you. As a straight dude, does this bother you? This does not bother me whatsoever. You can keep on making them and I'm gonna keep on responding. What's the weirdest sex position you've ever tried and did it work out? I can't think of one on the spot right now, but we have the app iKarma Sutra and we're trying to get through all of them and a lot of them are weird. I think one of them was like how two girls would scissor, but with a guy and a girl and it's like bent in a weird way. It worked, but it, we didn't do it the whole time. It was weird. What's your opinion about gravity? I think it's really cool and it would really suck if gravity gave out one day and we all just start floating in space. How much do you enjoy snowboarding and have you ever been injured doing it? I love snowboarding. And yes, two years ago, I broke my collarbone trying a double backflip. So yeah, guys, that's all the questions that I answered for today. But I promise you, if you have a question for me that I didn't answer, leave it in the comments below. I will answer it. Give this video a thumbs up for me as it helps me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe for a new video every single Thursday. Thursday.